Hi, I'm Dr Stuart Roy and I lead the SALT programme at the Australian Centre for Plant Functional Genomics. We're working on a new project to improve the salinity tolerance of barley. We've been working uh, with a gene that was identified at the University of Connecticut called AVP1. This gene produces a protein that allows plants to accumulate high levels of salt within the cells without doing any damage. We're testing this to see if we can use this gene to improve the salt tolerance of barley so it's better able to grow in soils in Australia. The AVP1 gene was identified by Roberto Gaxiola who showed that when you overexpress this gene in a model plant species, Arabidopsis, it makes a plant more salt tolerant. We've taken the same gene and we've transformed it into barley and we found that when we grow barley plants in the greenhouse and out in the field they can tolerate much higher levels of salt than plants without this gene and produce significantly increased yield. Saline fields are a problem for farmers because plants that grow in them grow slower and die faster. In Australia it's been estimated that 69% of the wheat belt is affected by salinity in some way or another and one in two farms in Western Australia are severely affected by salt. This project will benefit uh, Australian farmers because we've identified a way to make a barley plant more salt tolerant. We're hoping to take this technology and to use it in wheat as well to make wheat plants more salt tolerant. In addition, now that we know that this AVP1 gene works, we can find the wheat and barley equivalents of this gene and use this in selective breeding programs to produce a non-GM plant as well.